All right, folks, so rolling into work, I'm pretty excited. Uh, Apple came out with a new iPad release and it accepts one of these. So let's see what this thing can do with an iPad, specifically with lead nav currently. All right, folks, so Apple just released their latest update and it happens to finally include something we've been waiting for a long time. It allows you to use a mouse. This is turning these things more and more into a laptop. Uh, I utilize this iPad for almost everything. This is an iPad 11 Pro and we use this a lot at home for mission planning because of the keyboard that it has. Um, not that you can't put a keyboard on another iPad, uh, but this iPad here has a lot of power to it, being a pro model. Um, it is a $2,000 iPad, and we get away just fine in the vehicles running the iPad Air 3 um, for our mobility packages and our Exos. For the folks on foot, we do run, obviously, mostly iPhones, which if you saw our latest update, I'm pretty excited. The HUD, the heads-up display, is finally in this iPhone. Go get updated if you haven't already. So coming in this morning, I picked up a new mouse. I did not expect this to function inside a lead nav whatsoever. Honestly, I didn't know what to think of it uh, because I haven't even tried it yet on the iPad. But I am super stoked, super surprised with how it functions already out of the gate. All you gotta do is Bluetooth sync the mouse. It's like you would anything else. I got it synced. And what they also allow now is the use of one of their trackpads. So I have both those synced up right now. And you can see now when I move around the screen, we have the little cursor there and it functions. I can click on Wi-Fi. I can back out. I've got the cursor on the home screen. I can click on lead nav. I already had lead nav open. Back out. All the menus work. I started a new little test right here. Click out of it. And if I scroll my finger around the mouse, I can actually move the map around. Pretty cool. I didn't expect that at all. Settings work. I can go down here and click on settings. I can toggle through everything. I got zoom over here if I want it. I can go up here and hit the crosshairs on arc position. Go up here to menu, markers. I can use the map to scroll around. You can see I labeled a couple things already. I could label a link up point. Again, this is where the keyboard always came in handy because I could type it in. But now I no longer have to sit here and reach up here on the screen. It's just like a laptop. I can scroll around. I can back out of there. Go to routes. Drop a new route. And I can either sit here with my finger down here, drop a point, scroll with my mouse, drop a turn in there. Again, it's not where I want it to be yet, but that's pretty exciting out of the gate. Uh, a couple things I want to add in here. I want to be able to sit here and aim once you have the mouse connected and you have the cursor on the screen, cursor to act like your, your crosshairs right now. So I can just literally go over here and maybe click the button and drop a serpentine or add a waypoint. We'll come up with something, but pretty cool out of the gate that it functions at all. So a lot of times back home, mission planning uh, on, on stuff like Google Earth, like this up here. Again, we use Google Earth because we get a 3D model. I can sit here and draw lines fly around uh, when I'm really in a rush or when I'm really uh, mission planning deep. I'll break out one of these, a 3D Connects, which is a 3D mouse that gives you tilt, zoom, and all that. And I usually sit here on a laptop with this in my left hand, flying around the map, and a mouse in the right. And together with those two, I can jam out on a route very fast. Uh, this was key to uh, getting the job done quickly uh, on time sensitive stuff, specifically overseas. Uh, but now that the trackpad is also supported on the iPad, 
I could totally see us messing around a little bit and doing the same thing, keeping the trackpad over here to your, your left and using your mouse cursor to drop points and draw routes. But that's it folks. Came in this morning, picked up a mouse, did not expect it to work inside a lead nav at all. Didn't really even expect it to work with the iPad very well. I was actually super surprised. It is pretty cool to have these combined together. I am gonna use my iPad Pro a lot more now over my laptop. I prefer taking this with me in the uh, locations I tend to frequent because there's usually a lot of dirt and dust and silt and rain and it's pretty miserable most of the time and cold and maybe snowing. And I would rather take something like this right here in my backpack than all this expensive equipment back here in the back. That's where we're going. Giving you that much capability in something this small is awesome. So I hope you enjoy that. If you do, go ahead down there and like it and put a comment out and make sure you subscribe and join our newsletter, go to our website, go to our hardware store, join our community forum and have a good weekend. I dropped something halfway through that somewhere. Where is it? I don't know. I'll find it.